that thing that I've been aspiring to for uh, over 20 years now, actually. And uh, I'm number hiker number 1039. That makes me feel special. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I'm taking off actually pretty much um, right uh, in the middle of the bubble, I guess, uh, of people taking off on the uh, Appalachian Trail. But uh, boy, I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to uh, get one of these tags and, and put it on my backpack and get started on the Appalachian Trail. So I actually um, flew into uh, Atlanta uh, yesterday morning, uh, took the uh, Marta train to um, uh, Sandy Springs um, station uh, where there's an REI and I had to pick up uh, some gas for my for my stove, picked up some gas and then took uh, an hour long um, Uber to um, Amicalo Falls. And so I, I got registered, got my tag uh, yesterday afternoon and then hiked up here to the uh, lodge. The uh, hike up uh, to the lodge uh, gave me some great views of the uh, Amicalola Falls. officially begin my hike of the Appalachian Trail. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm not sure how my uh, my blogging's gonna go. Um, I, um, you know, um, I don't know if I'll do a, a short video every day or uh, wait uh, once a week and do uh, more comprehensive videos. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it. I'll, I'll work things out, so just uh, stay tuned. And uh, yeah, we'll see where this goes and hopefully it uh, goes to, uh, Mount Katahdin. Okay, so uh, here I am. I'm, I'm uh, just started on the approach trail, actually. So still not officially on the uh, Appalachian Trail, but uh, there's about, I think it's about nine miles of the uh, approach trail before you uh, officially get on the, to the Appalachian Trail. And uh, so far, it's a nice, easy trail, but I am going to be, uh, Ascending uh, quite a bit, I think, to get to the peak of uh, um, of uh, Springer Mountain. So uh, I'll check in again once I get to Springer Mountain. Stover Creek uh, shelter and I have my tent all set up. This is a nice shelter camping area. There's a shelter right up there and bear box over there. So uh, it's a uh, nice place to camp. I have the setting sun back there. And uh, so this will be officially my first night on the uh, Appalachian Trail. Okay. Uh, this is the beginning of day two of the Appalachian Trail. I, um, I think I stayed at the Dover shelter last night, that's what it was called. Uh, my tent and everything worked out well. Stayed, uh, stayed relatively warm. Uh, and it uh, looks like I got a little water crossing here. 
Anyway, uh, so yeah, so I'm beginning, I'm hoping to make it to uh, Mooch, uh, the Mooch Gap Shelter, something like that. Uh, uh, today, that's going to be about uh, maybe 12 or 13 miles of, of hiking. Uh, but that uh, there's a, uh, a no bear bag uh, section where you need to have uh, bear cannabis uh, that uh, I'm hoping to uh, hike right through because so I, uh, I don't have a bear canister. So uh, uh, a couple of days of pretty good hiking early on. Uh, so um, yeah, that's... Uh, uh, yeah, so day one went well. Let's see what happens uh, day two. Well, if I stop and uh, video uh, every water crossing, uh, I'm never going to make it to uh, Mount Katahdin, but uh, I decided I'd go ahead and uh, this one looks so, looks so nice and the sun's coming up in the background there. I thought uh, I just had to do this one. So, yeah, okay, onward. My uh, first trail angel goes by Max Forrester, and he was there at a critical point to uh, greet uh, me and a fellow hiker with some tissue roll pops and some uh, fresh uh, water. So by the time I arrived uh, at uh, Gooch Gap, uh, there had been uh, some uh, severe uh, thunderstorms forecast, uh, hail and all that stuff, lightning. Uh, and so um, some of the, uh, my fellow hikers decided to uh, take a uh, hitch into uh, a hostel, but I decided to uh, weather the storm uh, uh, in the shelter here, uh, and um, so I took a, a zero day, but that was nice because it gave me a chance to get to know some of my fellow hikers and meet another uh, family of trail angels who had some uh, hot dogs and hot chocolate and cookies for us. Uh, so yeah, that was great uh, getting to know uh, uh, a few of my other hikers. So here we are at, uh, what, what is this, uh, Gooch Gap, Gooch Gap, this is my, uh, actually my third day on the trail, so here's um, the people I'm going to be spending the evening with here at uh, Gooch Gap, and maybe see you again down the road. Okay, this is uh, officially day four on the uh, trail, and uh, I'm coming from uh, Gooch, uh, Gooch uh, Mountain, actually, uh, and uh, actually I spent a zero there because of the severe weather that was going through. Um, I decided to weather the storm in the shelter there, and um, met some great people. Uh, in fact, uh, that evening uh, after the storm had passed through, uh, a little family of uh, trail angels came by with some uh, really good uh, trail magic. Uh, hot chocolate uh, hot dogs and some cookies and uh, uh, it was really nice and they had uh, a couple of cute uh, little girls two and five years old so it uh, was actually a uh, I was uh, starting to regret uh, taking the zero but it was nice uh, uh, that when they came and uh, some other hikers arrived and met a lot of people so that was a, a good deal so I'm heading to um, I think it's called Lance Creek so today should be a fairly short hike because I'm going to cut it short because uh, right after that there's a uh, an area with a lot of bears and uh, you're required to have a, a hard shelled uh, bear canister uh, when going through uh, this I think it's about five and a half six miles of, of trail and uh, I don't have a bear canister so um, I'm going to uh, stop a little short so I'm only going to be doing I think maybe nine miles today and then I'll hike through that uh, that uh, area where the, the bears have been a problem. And uh, so tomorrow I'll reach uh, Neil's Gap and probably just hike a little bit further than that before I call it a, an end of the day tomorrow. So the weather so far, I mean, other than yesterday with the severe weather coming through, which wasn't as bad as people were saying, actually. Um, the first two days were actually quite nice, if, if anything, a little too warm. Uh, however, looking at the weather forecast in the next couple of days, it's going to get uh, quite cold, I guess. Uh, some freezing weather, and so uh, I'll be having to deal with that. But uh, when you're out there hiking, uh, a little bit cold is better than uh, 
warmer weather anyway. So uh, well, it looks like I'm coming up on a, another hiker up here. So I'm gonna cut uh, this, uh, this part of my video short. I just had a pretty steep uphill climb and I'm a little bit pooped but as you can see these climbs are uh, well worth it. Good morning from Lance Creek. Getting my coffee ready. Then I'll get things packed up and I'll be on my way to Neil's Gap. Okay, so, uh, well, day five uh, is beginning with a little bit of rain. Kind of chilly, but uh, not too bad. Uh, the big challenge today is going to be uh, getting up uh, to uh, Blood Mountain. It's going to be uh, quite a bit of uh, a big ascent up to the mountain, but then uh, then down the other side and then the hike a bit further. Uh, and then uh, I'll eventually reach uh, Neil's Gap, uh, which is the first uh, significant resupply. And I, I might make some adjustments to my gear there. And I may even decide to uh, make it a, another short day and stay there if uh, I can find a place to stay. Uh, and uh, it looks like uh, that's going to be the first place I am going to uh, have access to some Wi-Fi and uh, videos that I've done so far. Uh, with a little luck, I'll be able to upload it. And somebody might actually be uh, seeing and hearing what I'm doing. Okay, it looks like the uh, skies are clearing a little bit, and I've uh, just started, <laughs> maybe done maybe 
10% of the, my ascent up the mountain. But uh, the skies are clearing and uh, it's even warming up a little bit. So I'm going to shed uh, my uh, rain gear and see if I can keep from uh, overheating uh, the rest of the way up uh, Blood Mountain. I'm, I'm sure that I'm going to be hiking for at least a couple more hours before I uh, reach the peak. I don't know if you can hear that wind blowing, uh, but I'm approaching Blood Mountain and it looks like it's going to be a little breezy up there. So this is it, the uh, infamous Blood Mountain. mountain shelter and uh, the home of a notorious, notorious snake I guess from what I've been told but look at that we're in front of a hammer interesting I don't see any snakes in the rafters so yeah okay so I'll sign the log book and be moving on. <laughs> Blood Mountain. <laughs> yeah. 